Watch you guys, gonna have a ransomware removal video here for you. This one's been donated by one of my YouTube members. He sent me a link for this uh, sample and he said, can I make a video on how to remove it? Well, here is the actual sample. What it does, and it's on Windows 7 by the way, um, what it does is it, it pretends to encrypt the drive and says that your drive is encrypted. Unless you pay 100 euros, will then release your drive and they will give you a password. Um, but basically um, it's not encrypting your drive it's just like a bit of malicious code that um, attacks the uh, master boot record and you won't be able to get into safe mode, safe mode with networking safe mode with command prompt, any of those would be blocked out if you try to use live CDs what's going to happen is as soon as you go to access the drive it will say do you want to format your drive now so you can't do it that way either and I'm going to show you a quick way of getting around it so the first way is using a, a password or key gen, which is from Dr. Webs. Um, you can actually use that. Uh, the actual password is Z1. Um, so the way I got that, I will show you on the screen, but you won't be able to do this on your computer, but you'll have to do it on a separate computer to get this, unless you use the password that I give you. But basically you click run on another computer. I'm on a virtual box here, by the way, and uh, you can then type in the code and this is that code at the bottom the 6547746E uh, that type of code you'll need to type that in okay so we'll quickly type this in if, oh, as quick as I can because I haven't got my glasses on um, just uh, type this in as quick as I possibly can hopefully I don't get anything wrong I want to push enter here and you can see it gives you a password Z1 and that will be the password you use to release yourself from this uh, actual uh, ransom so that's the first way now they also do a website which you can use and I'll put the link up here now but you'll be able to do this on another computer you just basically do the same thing uh, you put the code in here and then you click on this Russian thing it is safe it's a Dr. Webb's a Russian uh, outfit and basically it gives you a password saying Z1 so you, the same sort of process really but it's just a different way okay now if that doesn't work for you you can always rewrite the master boot record and then what we're going to do is uh, do that with Windows CD so let me just quickly reboot the system um, let me just reboot the system into a live CD first to show you what happens when you click on it okay so I'm going to quickly reboot into say my mini XP let quickly load this up and I'll show you that you won't be able to use a live CD when you click on the drive it will actually tell you to format I just wanted to show you that okay so let's quickly uh, go into my computer and there you can see the drive and as soon as you click on the drive it asks do you want to format this drive and we don't want to format that so I'm going to say no uh, so it won't allow you to access the files this way okay so let's quickly uh, reboot the system into a Windows CD and I'm going to repair the master boot record and show you that way just in case the password doesn't work okay let's load up Windows Now what we're going to do here is repair the master boot record in case the password doesn't work. And what we want to do is click on repair your computer. Now this is what will happen, you'll get this coming up where it doesn't actually find anything. And what I'm going to do here is click on uh, start up repair so I want to load Windows back up again because it won't fix it I'm just trying to get it to recognize the drive so we can see it same thing again and then repair your computer
and then it will give you this option Windows found problems with your computer startup options it gives you a totally different thing so we want to repair and restart this again I'm going to load the computer up again I know it's a bit it's the only way I found that it works same thing next repair your computer and we should now see the windows drive selected there there you go so now we've got our windows drive back so what we're going to do is go next I'm going to go into command prompt here we'll see whether my windows files are there Okay, they're not there, so I'm going to do D, try D. Okay, that's now D is where my Windows files are. Now you can see them there. So what I'm going to do here is a uh, boot rec space forward slash fix MBR. And then I want to do the same thing again. Boot rec space forward slash fix boot push enter now we want to take the CD out of the draw out the uh, CD draw there and reboot the system into normal mode now it's so going to exit this Go restart now hopefully Windows will now boot back up into normal mode and there we have our windows back up and running and get access to our drive and there you go it's as simple as that so if the password doesn't work that you can use that method to fix it it's a bit of a palaver, but it does get you there in the end. So I hope this has been some use to you. I hope you enjoyed the video. My name is Brian from brightech.co.uk. If you enjoyed these videos, please remember, guys, hit that subscribe button and show your support. Also, rate and favourite my videos if you enjoy them, and I'll be making more useful videos again in the future. Thanks again for watching, guys. Bye for now.